the World Skills International Competition is the big vocational skills competition for young people across the world. It was started in Spain in 1950 and is currently in 85 countries across the globe. On 13 October 2020, World Skills Kenya WSK was ratified as the 84th state to host skills competitions. Kenya is preparing to participate in the upcoming competition organized by World Skills International WSI. The competition is not just about uh, who becomes number one or who becomes number two and so on, or who goes to the next stage. It's just an opportunity for us to assess ourselves in terms of where we are with regard to a certain skill. And um, if you have been here, then what you should take away is that uh, you now have had an opportunity to evaluate yourself and to be able to determine uh, what you need to do to get to the next level up. I want to thank you and also recommend that you also put a lot of effort. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, our participation to China uh, in Shanghai has started. Your competence will give you the ticket to get there. And uh, today being the first activity for all in Kenya, uh, we do wish that uh, you put a lot of effort as pioneers, that uh, by the time we are getting there, uh, we will be able to compete uh, with other nations in, in the first world nations. I want to thank Ned and Kimabi again for, for having all this equipment, and I believe the trainers, that the, the, those who will come to us as trainers in the future, will be, will be that bad. So, I want to say that this is uh, something that you'll be encouraged and especially for the teacher, for those who are planning to be, to be educators, because our institutions need, need trainers who are hands-on. I've also learned something about that and the money, and again, this is a myth. I have always heard that our institutions don't produce anything. I am sure I am right to a good extent, but I have learned that that and Kimathi produces quite a number of items. We have designed a lot and they have several machines. Uh, we are also working on now, the next level is now manufacturing machine tools. These are tools which help machine them. The tools you need to be used to make other machines. Okay? So that's the level we are and uh, we already have all the skills. The difficult thing in manufacturing and the reason why we struggle in Kenya with manufacturing is lack of the manufacturing tools. There's no way we will be industrialized if we are not able to put our own machines in place. And we are working on that. We, we have been able to design molds uh, interrupted with this equipment. Uh, they had to go through that rigorous training using the equipment here by Siemens. Another judge in this competition, having a background in electrical engineering, we really appreciated the level of progress that our trainees, both at Tibet and the university, went through. Because of the consistency, they get the hands of kids and know many more things in the company at school, and uh, try a lot. The Dan Kimadi University of Technology Dikut was tasked by technical and vocational education and training to better to organize World Skills Kenya in mechatronics. After 15 days of training, the competition's opening ceremony officially took place on Monday, 23rd August 2021. The competition attracted 17 colleges, both Tibet institutions and technical universities, and seven teams from the university. I have a number of myths that I had have been demystified because I had this idea that universities, especially the engineering side, they teach theory and no practice. I'm surprised that all this is in a, in a university. I thought we teach practicals, 
back in the different institutions, and that does not happen in the universities. And I have realized that you are, you are way ahead of us. So that is one myth that has been demystified. I hope this is what happens, or not, what will happen in all the engineering courses. Because one challenge that we have witnessed, especially with our trainers from universities, is that they, are, they have a lot of content in terms of theory. But when it comes to practicals, there is a challenge. After several competitive sessions, the World Skills Mechatronics competition ended on Friday, 27th August 2021, with Kambu Institute Victoria Njiku and Israel Ngeresa from Tibet Institutions, Maxwell Magoi and Nelson Makara from the court emerging the winners. The court's team scored 71.6 marks, while Kambu Institute of Technology's team scored 49.04 marks. I appreciate the fact that from what we are seeing, from your presentation and what um, Dr. Sabosko has explained, is it is without doubt that uh, you have made some progress, that you have learned a lot, uh, and that uh, you have benefited from this uh, competition. We were honored to host this first of its kind competition in Kenya. Congratulations to all the contestants and the winners.